What are berserkers in gears of war? When it comes to raw power and speed, the berserker comes to mind. Although it is extremely powerful and heavily armored, it suffers from being blind, and so they rely on their sense of smell and hearing to locate their prey. This locust is actually a female and displays extreme aggression and is normally set loose on solo missions. Driven by rage and the intent to kill, the berserker is a very dangerous locust. Although their thick skin is resistant to bullets, they can be damaged for a short time when they come into contact with fire. Therefore, weapons like incendiary grenades, a flamethrower, and the hammer of dawn are ideal weapons during an encounter with a berserker. They have two attack methods. Once they locate a target, they will charge in a straight line using enough force to knock down a human, destroy fortifications, and even instantly kill a downed target. Their second attack is a double-fisted smash on the ground. This attack can destroy equipment and is very useful on humans. Now, a berserker was encountered by Kilo Squad, and they took it down by using flamethrowers that were acquired from flame boomers. Another berserker appeared at a school, and it was killed by Zeta 6 Squad when they lured it to smash into vehicles. The explosion put the berserker on fire, and after many vehicles were used in the same manner, it was killed. Then, during the light mass offensive mission, two berserkers fought against Marcus and Dom in different situations. They were both killed with the use of the Hammer of Dawn. They also fought a third one on the Tyro Pillar train, but with no way of using the Hammer of Dawn this time, due to the ink from the Nemesis, they were forced to lure the Berserker to the back of the train and detach the last car. The Berserker was either crushed or thrown away in this encounter. Later on, Jay Stratton also encountered a Berserker on his own. When he lost track of his team, he ended up on a cliffside in darkness. Then later on, a berserker emerged from a cave. It was lured over the edge as Marcus came down in a ladder to save Jace. The berserker fell to its death. Then, 18 months after the events of flooding the hollow, the berserker showed up infected with emulsion. This made them bigger, stronger, faster, and more dangerous. They grew tentacles on their backs, which could be used as weapons, and their hearts were visible with a glowing gold color. Although this infection made the berserker stronger, it also gave them a new weakness. The only way to damage them was to shoot their heart, and the chest cavity would only open up when they charged, jumped, or were put on fire. The lambent berserker would also leave a trail of emulsion as it ran across the field. This would damage anyone stepping in it. Now, the Locust Berserker was playable in Beast Mode of Gears of War 3, but its eyesight was modified to give the player some sense of vision, so it was not totally blind in this occasion, and the Lambent Berserker was not playable at all, although I really want to use that version in Beast Mode as well. The Berserker is one of my favorite Locusts in Gears of War, alongside the Armored Cantus and General Rom. So what is your favorite Locust in Gears of War? Let me know in the comments section. If you want to see more videos like this, then subscribe to my channel and enable notifications so you know when I upload a video. Thanks for watching. My name is Acid Glow, and I'll see you in the next video.